Hey you guys, it's Miss Alexander and today we are multiplying home, whole numbers by fractions. And I'm going to show you two different ways to do it. Either way is correct. I just need you to pick one way and master that way. So the first way I'm going to show you, we're going to change the whole number into a fraction. And in order to do that, you just put the whole number over one. In this part of the section, you can actually do the entire problem if you decide to go with the scribble pad. And this is how it works. You'll, um, the boxes will be blank. You'll have enough block boxes of your whole number. And then you'll have to use the line tool to draw your denominator and then fill in the whole number and numerator. You're going to count the boxes and get your new numerator, put it over your denominator you already have. So this is one example, and I'm going to quick go down and show you how to do this example. So we have three times one half, right? So number one, you're going to go into here, you're going to click. Here you're going to put a one, you're going to use your arrow button to go up and put your three. You're going to do the same thing here, you'll put your two, use your arrow button to put your one. This is your new problem because we've turned this three into a fraction. So I'm going to jump into my scribble tool to show you. As I said, you need your line. We're going to make halves because that is what we got three times one half. So I'm going to quick do my boxes of halves and now I'm going to quick scribble. Now here we go. Remember here is the problem I had you guys. Three over one times one over two. Yep, you guys right. That is a bad one. Let me try that again. I have one over two. Okay. So it's saying I have three boxes and each box ha has one half, okay? So I have three halves. So I'm gonna color one, one, two, three. Three of them are colored, right? So I get three halves. Now, I don't wanna leave it as three halves. I need to turn it into a mixed number. Remember, we do simplest form, and simplest form really means either it's a proper fraction, so the numerator is smaller than the denominator, or it's a mixed number. So I'm gonna go like this, and I see that I need two to make a whole, and I have two here. So I can always bring this one up to here to make a second one and then this disappears and then I have that so I have one and one half I hope that helped if not maybe the other way of doing it will work but this is for my people that do better with drawing okay um, Let me quick fix this. So you know, and to make a whole, you need that number over itself. So I have two there with one left over. Okay, here we go, you guys. Let me show you the other way. Again, we need to change the whole number into a fraction, put the whole number over one. So you do this and we skip this note section. You'll multiply two numerators, multiply the two denominators, and then simplify. Change the improper, improper fraction into a mixed number or divide the fraction by a whole. Make sure we have it in simplest form. So again, we have three times one half, so it's three over one times one half. So right here, we can go right here and go three times one equals three my denominator would be one times two equals two. And then I put my fraction together. So it's three over two. Now, because the three is bigger than two, I know I have to go simplify. I need to turn it into a mixed number. So right over here, I'm gonna go ahead and simplify. Turn my three halves into a mixed number, which means I'm going to divide, right? My denominator is my divisor and my numerator is my dividend. I'm going to quick do my multiples of two and I see that I only need it one time. I'm going to subtract two 
I have one left over and I have remainder one. So I have one whole and one half. Here is the answer I am looking for. So here, so either way you do this, your answer should be right down here. If you use this box, you put your answer here. Don't worry about these boxes. If you decide to go this route, all this should be filled out. Either way, as long as it works for you. I am going to do one more problem with you guys, just so we understand. Here we go. We have one-fifth times two. Please be aware it doesn't matter which side this fraction's on. It's all the same. So I'm going to put my five here and my one here. Here, I'm going to put a one because the whole number is a whole number two. Okay, so I'm going to jump into here and show you how to do this one. This is saying I need fifths. So, one, oops, two, oh, let's, one, two, three, four. To get fourths, I actually need four lines. Please be aware, it doesn't matter if it's even or not. Do the best you can. If you notice, mine aren't to even. But I had one-fifth times two whole. So I have one-fifth times two over one. So I have two boxes and I have fifths. But this says one fifth, so I'm going to color in one box of each section. So how many boxes are colored in? Two fifths. Very good. Okay, you guys. There is your answer. Hit save and close. And if that's the way you're doing it, you'll come right down here and just write two fifths. If not, you're going this way, you guys. You're doing one times two equals two. And then you're doing five times one equals five. And then right here, you're going to write two fifths and go, oh, look, that's as simple as it gets. And then write two fifths there. I hope one of these ways is a way that you can be successful. All we're doing is turning this whole number into a fraction, and we do that by putting a one under it. Um, any other questions, please ask. Remember, while we're doing this, we're going to smile, giggle, wiggle, and have a lot of fun. I'll talk to you later. Bye.